Do you play Osu? Do you either play tablet or even mouse? If yes, throw both away, since now I will present to you a new playstyle that is better than both. May I present to you the double keyboard? No. May I present to you the Mablet or mouse split or tablet mouse combination, whatever you want to call it. You see, no one really wants to play mouse. You have mouse drift and it's just really annoying and it might even hold you back. Then your only real option will be tablet. But holding a pen is annoying and can be very uncomfortable for longer times. And the grip, oh, the grip issues. So now I have the almost perfect solution that I've been using myself these past few months. The Mablet, a mouse which has absolute positioning so drifting away cannot become an issue. Mouse drift and weird grip will now be an issue of the past since there's no possibility that it happens. If you don't care about my experience using it so far and you just want to see how you build it or buy it, go to either of these timestamps to see it, although I do recommend watching the whole video since I named some important and interesting points and some stuff you might want to know, especially if you want to start using this thing. So let's start off with a quick explanation of what mouse drift is and why it sucks. So a mouse uses a sensor to move around and basically it's very shit since it doesn't see wrist rotation where it does affect where your mouse goes. So for example if you were to aim a square on screen with your mouse, you will usually not aim the mouse like perfectly straight and consistent, but you will use your wrist to move it around. So when you end up finishing the square on screen, in reality you will not be in the same position you started. A tablet solves this since it has absolute positioning, meaning a point on the tablet is also always connected to the same point on a screen. So something like mouse drift is not possible. For a few reasons I play mouse and always have played mouse. But mouse drift annoyed me and affected me a good amount since I play pretty low sensitivity. And so the thought came to my mind a lot. How would I aim if I did not have any mouse drift? How does it feel to aim infinite squares and jumps with a mouse without it being really uncomfortable or just not even possible at all? Since tablet wasn't a choice for me and I just never really got used to it in my time trying it out, I decided to build a mouse driftless mouse. And how did I do this? I basically built a tablet mouse fusion. In short I did this by getting an old mouse and taking it apart, destroying a tablet pen and taking out a chip, after checking I didn't accidentally break it, hot gluing it into the mouse case, assembling it back, and boom it was done. Just slap the tablet below your mouse pad and start gaming. Um, also a quick side note, if you guys would like to see an in-depth tutorial on how to build it, just tell me in the comments and I will make one soon. So this was my first time using it and I thought, wow this is nice. So I decided to stick to it and just get used to it, which wasn't that hard to my advantage. And now just a little reminder on a few things the Mablet won't do for you. So what using this will not do is instantly fix your aim to be better, since aim is all reading and if that's bad, your aim is bad too. Flow aiming is feeling different, at least for me, while aiming jumps does not feel that different to your normal mouse, so you do need to adjust a bit. So my DIY maplet does not have working mouse buttons and also not a scroll wheel, so to move around the game menu you will need to use your old mouse, but a good solution on that in a little as well. So now quickly a few things it will do. You will have no mouse drift, because it's impossible to even get any. You will have no or less grip issues depending on the size of your area and how you grip the mouse, and maybe you will have some trouble finding a fitting area, but more on that later as well. So if my maplet sounds good to you so far, but you feel like it's scuffed to build it yourself, I have the solution. In 2004, Wacom released a tablet, the Wacom Intuos 3, which comes with a mouse which works exactly the same way as the thing I built. The insane thing with this one is that all the mouse buttons and even the scroll wheel work, since you can bind them in open tablet driver. So this thing definitely looks more scuffed than mine, but at least it has functional buttons. You can get it used on eBay, the price does vary a lot though, I paid around 70 euros for mine, including shipping. It comes in different sizes and for the video I did buy the bigger one and when I tried it out it did work exactly the same way as my self made one, so whichever one you want to buy, the choice is yours. It is also a great normal tablet from what I have tried, so I guess you could consider using it for EVA drawing or normal also gaming as well. So now you have decided to use the Mablet yourself, either by building it or buying the option I showed. Now the last step, which is also kinda important to get the same feeling, is your area. So to match your area size to your mouse sensitivity, I use this website which converts your DPI into an area to put into your driver of choice. The site is linked in the description. Another problem I had is that I aim slightly angled and what I did was I just put in rotation on my area in the driver until it felt right. I do also use the Devo Cup smoothening filters on these settings, the filters optional though and literally preference. 
Now before you begin to use the maplet, I will give out a small warning. If you used normal mouse before this, you will have the muscle memory of mouse drift reset. The problem is that lifting and repositioning your mouse just messes you up and to stop this, you will need to force yourself to not lift at all. It took me about 5 minutes to adjust to this, but my warning here is that you will not be able to use your normal mouse as before for Osu, since you ruin your existing muscle memory. Hey, editor Nyrex here, so I kinda lied, it doesn't ruin your full muscle memory, it does kinda make it hard to like play normal mouse again, but when I try to only play mouse, I did kinda get back into resetting mouse drift. I did miss aim a little, but I, I played for 10 minutes, so I guess playing a lot will fix that. And now to my conclusion, after I've been using this for about 3 months now. So first off, this playstyle goes hard. It's comfortable, but aiming big jumps can be a little hard depending on your area. So you're better off by using an area that is small enough so you can fully wrist aim. Although I have to mention this is very much affected by your grip and your old sensitivity, so this might not even be a big issue for you, because it's just preference. Also, the only real downside for me are the mouse buttons and scroll wheel, but I just use my normal mouse to navigate through the menu and stuff anyway, so it's not a problem for me. So, thanks for watching the video through until the end. It was a lot of work to make, and if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like and sub if you haven't already. If you have any more questions about the maplet or just want to see more gameplay with it, you can stop by my Twitch, where I stream to the times shown on screen. This was it for the video. Check out these other videos if you want to see more of me. And with this, see you guys next time.